God really have unconditional love for us? That might be surprising for you to hear me say that, to sort of ask that, uh, but that's something I want to kind of think about today just for a second, and I invite you to uh, uh, go over to my website, to thegraciousguest.org, and check out the blog post uh, that I put up that deals with this a little bit more in depth. But just for now, I want you to just kind of consider this phrase, unconditional love. Uh, we like the sound of that. We want to uh, believe that. We want to say that we have unconditional love for you know our closest family, our friends. Uh, the idea that I think when I use that phrase a lot of times, what I, what sort of comes to mind is this idea that there's nothing you could do that would make me not love you, right? Um, and that's I think there's some, there's some truth to that for sure, and that is definitely something that is is very much uh, following uh, Christ, you know, in His example. But if by unconditional love, what we really mean at the end of the day uh, is that basically, you know, I, I can do whatever I want and you still need to love me, you know, uh, or, or to turn a blind eye, maybe is a better way of putting it, to things I'm doing, you know. I think we can head down that road and then it becomes dangerous because then what we're basically saying uh, is that love is, is just sort of, you know, bland in a sense or love just ignores... Um, uh, uh, rejection or even evil. Uh, I think there's something that we need to really keep in mind here right from the scriptures. In John chapter 15 verse 14, Jesus says to his closest friends, right, to the apostles, he says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. All right, go, go check it out if you don't believe me. Jesus actually said, you're my friends if you do what I command you. He also talks about uh, in the gospel, you remember, he, he depicts people basically coming at the end of time to him you know, in the final judgment, and people who uh, he basically, you know, says, come to him and, and, and say things like, Lord, we healed in your name, you know, we served you. You get the idea that these are people who uh, weren't just, you know, sort of casual followers of Jesus or just sort of fans of his, but actually maybe, maybe servants, people in his church even, maybe even church leaders, maybe even me, maybe even the rest of us. It's supposed to be this really uh, shocking sort of moment where he says to them, remember what he says, he says, I never knew you. That's pretty, pretty bold. You know, and there's plenty of other places in the gospel where we see the very real possibility of missing the boat, so to speak, or of not inheriting eternal life. So it's not a guarantee. It's not a given. And if by unconditional love, we mean that, well, I can just do whatever I want and God will let me into heaven, that's really not the path we should be going down. That is not at all what Jesus suggests. So, we're going to be, we want to be, be, careful, be careful here and distinguish this. Uncondition, unconditional love, do you mean that God loves you and you know, God wills your good, okay, absolutely, infinitely, perfectly, regardless of what you do? Yes, okay, but on the receptive side of this, our, our, our ability to receive that love, our ability to be transformed by that love, to ultimately be brought into the divine life with God in heaven forever, to experience his life coursing through us forever, to be intimately bound up with him forever, that's not guaranteed, and that is absolutely tied to our behavior, to our acceptance of that love, to our ability to accept that love or to reject that love. So don't forget today, remember Jesus says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. So maybe we should all take a closer look today at some of the things Jesus commands <laughs> and see if there's some room for improvement. I know there certainly is in my life. So just a few thoughts for you today. Go over and check out the website, thegraciousguest.org. Thanks so much for checking out the YouTube page. And like I said, check out the blog a little bit later for a little more depth on this. So until next time, don't forget to wonder. Take care.